Day in the life of Angela O'Hare. That's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor and today I got a day full of things to do so I thought you know what it'd be fun to kind of do a video of me driving around and talking kind of like my good friend Rob except for I don't think he ever goes to his appointment so I'm gonna I have a lot going on today today I'm meeting a client right now which is at the end of April over at Castellana, they're buying a home there, so we're doing a frame walk through. Then I'm gonna check out, oh gosh, like four or five new construction lots I have for my clients to see what stages they're in. And then at 1.30, I have a meeting over in Savannah by Taylor Morrison with my clients to go over a contract. They just bought a, well, they will be buying a single story home over there in um, Savannah and the nice thing I'll put my glasses on so I can see and the nice thing about what they're buying is you know a lot of these builders right now are doing just spec homes so especially Taylor Morrison they spec out the whole home and what you get is what you get they do all the structural options and they also do all the upgrades so my clients saw this model it's the lilac model which this version has four bedrooms I do believe and it has a three-car garage um, so I took them out yesterday or the day before we looked at Trilogy Summerlin Trilogy Sunstone we looked at a lot of places um, but they ultimately decided to go with the Savannah model now when they do these spec homes they're usually probably 90 days out or if not sooner I think this one's gonna be ready in June but I know, for example, up in Sky Canyon at the Montrose Collection, um, they do have two spec homes available. They have the Clavel and the Braga, Brada, and those won't be ready for 90 days. So basically, once the cabinets go in, that's when the builders will list it or get it ready as a spec home, just because of the build time frame. What's been happening is because of delays with um, the products, refrigerators, doors, windows, etc. They've been specking these out, ordering it, and then once it's reached the cabinet stage, then they'll list it for availability. Um, and a lot of these builders now too, even Pulte is doing spec homes or they're specking out the structural options, which could be the sliders, the barbecue stub, the extra door in the garage, etc., so that the build time is not as long. In the past, new construction took maybe six to 10 months tops. Now it's a little over 10 plus months. Toll Brothers was 14 to 16 months. So with them being able to choose the structural options ahead of time, it makes the build time a lot faster on your end. Um, there are still some communities that are doing wish lists or not wish lists. They're doing lists where that you'll, your name will be put in a drawing. Um, and then there's no guarantee that you'll get it on that drawing and you may have to wait until the style of house that you want will be available and that's starting from scratch so there are still some builders where you can choose your structural and upgrades but for the most part what I've noticed in Summerlin TriPoint they're picking out the structural options you can still pick out your upgrades I know that Toll Brothers Acadia Ridge I think they're doing more spec now instead of picking your lot etc and then Pulte's changing too. So I just wanted to briefly go over new construction because I sell a lot of new construction and that's what my focus is today is going over new construction homes. <laughs> I sell a lot in Summerlin. Um, so I just wanted to go over that. And then I kind of wanted to talk about the market and what I feel is going on with the market. I definitely feel a shift coming, um, especially with the interest rates rising. I feel, um, you know, of course, this weekend I was out showing houses and there were some houses that didn't have any offers. Um, so I, I feel that the multiple offer situation is gonna be less and less as we move forward, especially those that are financing. Um, 
it's going to be putting some people out of the market, meaning that those that were able to afford a $500,000 home in the past, due to the interest rate hike, may not be able to afford that $500,000 $500, home anymore. They may be able to afford four hundred and fifty dollars instead. Just an example, no specific numbers on that. <laughs> but it just buys people, it's putting people out of the um, market and not being able to purchase as much as they wanted to in the past. Um, Rob and I talked on our previous market update about possibly buying down the points, um, buying down the interest rates. Um, a lot of these sellers, sellers still think that, um, that even if they only have one offer that they can ask the buyers to waive the appraisal contingency um, or they'll just wait. But I am feeling it slowed down when it comes to the multiple offers and maybe not as many offers as it was in the past. Just food for thought on that on my end. Um, obviously, when we do the April market update in May, Rob and I, I think that um, we thought that maybe there would be a $10,000 median price increase, which is highly likely. But going forward, we're going to see the median price not increase as drastically as it has been in the last few months. We may see very minimal increases. I don't think we're going to have a crash per se. I don't think prices are going to go down. I just think we're going to actually stabilize and that, um, you know, there's still people, the demand is still high. Now, the only caveat is the availability of homes. If we still continue to have the low inventory, our median price is still gonna rise. Maybe not as drastically, but it still will rise. If we start seeing an influx of homes on the market, then that's gonna change the whole story of uh, what's gonna happen with the prices and if they will start going down. Uh, I don't see homes coming on the market. Uh, I still, very minimal, very light on inventory still. I could be wrong, but you know, we may be going into a recession, a lot of things going on with the world in general. So there's a lot of moving parts that, you know, I can't tell what's really going to happen with the market after June. I do know that I still get a lot of clients wanting to come to Vegas looking to buy a home, but I would say 90% of my clients are cash buyers. So, or they're doing jumbo loans and they're putting a good chunk down. Uh, so we'll see how the market goes. Um, so right now I'm heading to Castellana and shoot, I am three minutes late. No, I will be late if I don't hightail it. I'm going to stop talking for now. Once I get to Castellana, I will um, show you the house. See you soon. Okay, I just arrived on time to do the frame walkthrough of my client's house here in Castellana. This is the Juniper model. I already sold a home. My clients, my other clients were the first that I'd ever bought in this community. And this will be a July closing. The Juniper model, I do believe is the smallest model in Castellana. It's at 2066 square feet with four bedrooms and three full baths and a two car garage. So I just wanted to show you, I just, uh, before I went in to do the frame walkthrough with my clients, I will also be posting a video of this soon on YouTube. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show you my next adventure after this. Thought I looked cute with this hat on. It's bright out today. Look at me with my Taylor Morrison hat. <laughs> Just finished the frame walkthrough. Now I have to give the hat back to the dude. See you guys on the next visit or my next site that I'm going to. Peace out. Okay, I just finished up my frame walkthrough with my clients in Castellana. Since I'm over here still in the Red Point Village, I have two probably lots to look at in Kings Canyon and two lots to look at in Overlook to see the progress of my client's new construction build. Two of them are almost done. The other two are probably just still dirt lots. But I always like to check for my clients and do videos throughout the stages if I have time to let them know what's going on, if the cabinets are in, etc. Um, it's been a, a little minute since I've been able to do this for my clients, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do this today, uh, especially how busy I've been. But, you know, 
I really love Tri-Point Homes. It's probably one of my favorite builders because of the whole mid-century modern look that uh, Tri-Point tries to convey. Um, and I like the layouts. They have really nice layouts. If I had to pick my favorite builder, it would be Tri-Point. Not that they pay me well in commission, but I'll still sell their houses any day because I believe in their product and I love their style. My next favorite builder would probably be um, Toll Brothers since I sell a lot of Toll Brothers as well. Um, and they do me pretty good. And then I guess my third one would be Pulte Homes. I mean, there's a lot of good builders, but what I sell a lot of is TriPoint, Toll Brothers, Lennar, and Pulte. I've only sold a handful of the other builders here in, oh, Taylor Morrison, I've sold a few of those. But for the most part, TriPoint is my number one seller at this moment, just because of where it's located here in the Summerlin Village. So, did I miss it? Nope. There's gonna be a new community, and I'm not you know, doing a tour right now of Red Point, but there's gonna be a new Lennar community here coming soon called Arches. And it's all single story living. I think they're all gonna be over 3,000 square feet. Um, and two of them have next gen models. So that's pretty interesting. I will be doing a video soon of a couple new construction communities that are gonna be coming in the Summerlin Red Point Village. Um, but right now we're just gonna go take a look of my client's Kings Canyon home. And then um, there's two here in Kings Canyon and two in Overlook. So uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, I'm over here at Overlook for my client's home in Kings Canyon. They did the plan three. I don't know how much far I can get into. It's supposed to close uh, May 20th. We're going to do the walkthrough on May 13th. So this plan three is a little different than the model. Let me see if I can get in here. Where normally in the model home is the courtyard. Yeah, no. I may not be able to get in. Let me just stick my head in there. And this has the tandem garage. Ooh, I like those stairs. That's beautiful. The floating stairs. So in the model, this is supposed to be a, like a courtyard, so it's now a den. Oh, wow. Ooh. Very nice. I like that quartz. Alrighty. <laughs> I better go before I get in trouble. I don't have a hard hat on. I have my flip flops. See? When I went to go uh, do the walkthrough, let me flip this around. When I went to go do the walkthrough at Castellana, the inspector was there and then also the city OSHA dude. And like, you can't go in. You're wearing flip flops. I'm like, what? I do a million of these walkthroughs and I always wear my flip-flops. Whoops. Dang, these don't. Anyway, I had my flip-flops on and luckily we waited for the dude to leave so I can do my walkthrough. Uh, I may not even post this video because I don't want that guy to get in trouble. <laughs> okay, I'm still over here at Kings Canyon checking out my other client's house and lot. And I mean, she just got it last week or so. Actually, last week we checked, picked out her upgrades. This is lot 70 and she got the plan one uh, Kings Canyon, which is a single story model. I think it's around 2,300 square feet. I like the whole uh, mountain backdrop or the stonework. They know my name here. I'm here almost every weekend bringing clients in. Now how this works, actually I'll flip it over and get in the car and tell you how um, tri-point works when it comes to getting a lot here. There's my car with my Grateful Dead Bears. Uh, that's funny. I just have a story to tell you on this one. Um, a lot of my clients are a little more mature. They're like, is that how many children you have? I'm like, no, <laughs> it's for the Grateful Dead. So anyways, if you see Dancing Bears, it's for a band called the Grateful Dead. I'm just going to hold this here. Um, instead of putting it on the cradle. So basically, the nice thing about TriPoint is it's not where 
you get put your name in a drawing and luck of the draw, you win a lot. It's a first come first serve basis. Basically, you're required to fill out a pre-application with TriPoint Select, which is their mortgage provider. If you're paying cash, you'd indicate you're paying cash. If you're financing, then you know you would have to get pre-approved in order to be put on the VIP list. Once you're on the list, then every month they will have a lot released, maybe four, five lots every month. And you know, if you were on the list two months ago, you're gonna be called first and say, hey, we have lot 70 and 80 available. Do you want to participate? And if they say no, then, I mean, you need to answer right away too. Then they go to the next person in line. So it's timestamped from the time that you filled out your lender application, which is awesome because I don't think it's fair where someone that came in yesterday gets put in a drawing, then they win the house when you've been waiting for two months. So that's one cool thing about um, try point that I like. So we're going to go over to Overlook and check out my two lots over there. Then we're also going to go to Heritage by Lennar. My client's closing this month, next month, next month, um, over there. And then another one in Sandalwood by TriPoint Homes. I have a friend that has a house that I need to check out for him as well. So busy day checking out all these houses for my clients. See you on the flip side. Okay, I'm over here at Overlook Kings, I mean, Overlook TriPoint Homes. Wow, I'm kind of surprised that this is the only stage that they're at still on this home, considering this was bought back in November. I can't remember. This is the Plan 3 over here at Overlook, which is the largest model. I'm going to see if I can get in here. You know, right now everyone's working, it's under construction. If you know, this will be the big courtyard, which will lead you to the front door. I'm surprised I haven't done a frame walk through this one yet. We'll see if they'll let me in. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not wearing the best of shoes right now. I should have planned accordingly. <laughs> but it's not as far as I thought it was gonna be, um, considering that other one was bought after the fact hit or miss with these builders but they're getting pretty much all the rest of the area done this has the three-car garage oh well I'm not gonna risk it construction war zone all right let's go check out the lot my client just got couple weeks ago I'm gonna go with her next week to the design studio maybe next week they'll let me take a video of it we'll see okay last stop on my tri point tour for today are actually over here in the red point village this is lot 73 my clients is also getting a plan three um, which I really we're really happy with this lot because it's the end one there's gonna be no homes there uh, the higher retaining wall for privacy. I mean, granted, you're not gonna really have too many mountain views because it's a single level living, but at least it's nice. It's right next to the park and it's in the cul-de-sac. So there's gonna be no houses right here. So this is actually a very beautiful, I mean, very beautiful lot. So that's it for my tri point over here in Red Point. Now I'm gonna go over to probably, let me see what's first, Sandalwood and then Heritage. See so you guys on the flip side. All right, now I'm heading over to, I um, guess I'm gonna go to Sandalwood and check out my client's house there. And then my last stop will be Heritage over there by Lennar Homes in the Stonebridge Village. So now I'm leaving the Red Point Village, heading over to the Stonebridge Village. I've done several videos on all of these neighborhoods. Um, so if you wanna learn more about the different villages in Summerlin, just go to my YouTube channel. Now some of them are extremely old, they're a couple years old, so now it's time for me. My, my new goal is to really just go through the, each of the villages again and redo some of the videos. Um, and do it as where it's a drive through but stop, take pictures of the park or the amenities, and then keep on driving, and go over the village. Um, I, you know, just a little update, because the last time I took, it was at least two or three years ago, my hair was short, it was a little chunkier then, 
going through a divorce, so now I'm in a better spot. Um, so it's important to watch that. But uh, my 1.30 appointment got canceled or my buyer said I really didn't need to be there to have them, didn't need to be there for them to sign the contract because they have the sales consultant there. You know, talking about, since I live and breathe new construction, and I say this in a lot of my videos when you're buying new construction, is that um, it's important that you always have a real estate agent to assist you or be there on your very first visit. Now, I get a lot of clients call me, I have bought homes before, why do I need a realtor? Why? What value do you bring to me? Well, the value is, you're living out of state. I'm here. What I'm doing now for my out-of-state clients is taking videos and keeping an eye on the home for them while they're out of state. Because it's fun to um, get vid photos of those homes throughout each progress because, you know, I like to scrapbook. Well, I used to do scrapbooking when the kids are younger, so it's great to have a journal of the progress of the home build. That's one reason. And the other one reason is, that I always say, is like, would you go to court without being represented by a lawyer? Probably not. So we will be your eyes and ears. There's a lot involved when you're buying new construction. There's a lot of questions to ask when you're buying new construction that you may not have th thought of while you're living here in Las Vegas. Um, so it's very important that you have an agent that's experienced in selling new construction, that knows the new construction communities. Now, I know a lot about new construction in Vegas, but my area of expertise really is Summerlin and the northwest part of the valley, which would be um, Sky Hills and Sky Canyon area. Um, because we can't learn everything. You know, there's a lot of agents that will take videos of all the model homes. I don't know how they have time to do any of that because I simply do not have time to do that. <laughs> uh, I like to have a little freedom and I also like to take naps every day or at least a two hour shutdown where I shut the world out. Anyways, um, so when you're buying new construction, your agent needs to be with you on the very first visit. If they're not with you and you register, then you can forget about it. I would not be able to assist you any longer. So it's important that you find an agent that's... <laughs> Sorry about that. My mount kept on falling down. <laughs> the heat from the sun is like melting this suction cup thingy and so it just kept on plopping down. So it's important. I'm gonna stop talking about it, but again, if you need to find new construction in Summerlin, Sky Canyon, Sky Hills, I'm your expert. I'm gonna shut this off. I'm, I'm gonna go to Sandalwood, take a video for you, and then finish up this tour. Bye. Okay, so now I'm over here in Sandalwood by TriPoint. They're actually just finishing up this community. It's been around for a couple years now. It's the last of the homes built in here. My friend, Jesse, Jess, bought the Plan 6. He didn't use me as an agent because at the time we weren't friends. But uh, <laughs> just take, thought I'd take a video real quick of his house. I love, this is, see why I love, I can't see it so bright. I love TriPoint Homes because look at those lines. That mid-century design is just absolutely my favorite design. It's been a while since I've been in here. It's been a while, yeah, because the last time I was here, there was none of this stuff. I like the white stonework, the white door. Let's see if I can get in here. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Alrighty, folks. They're shutting me out today. Oh. Alrighty. I told Jess I was going to take pictures of the cabinets for him. Make sure everything is correct. I thought this was supposed to be dark tile. Hmm. Love the fireplace. Maybe he did go with the lighter tile, I don't remember. That's nice. All right guys, on to the next one. Alrighty, wow, got a little windy up here, if you can hear me. I just made it to the 
end of the street where my client's house is over here at Heritage by Lennar, which is a 55 plus retirement community. Look at that. Oh, Red Rock Canyon. Look at this canyon. Such a beautiful day today. So now I gotta figure out which house is my client's. We're supposed to close, gosh, we were supposed to close this month on it, but they had countertop delays in the laundry and bathrooms. Now, um, supposedly, they're gonna close at the end of this, or end of May. We'll see. We will see what's gonna happen. I haven't been here in a while either. It's the only downside about buying in a new construction community is living through all this construction. So 981. Nope, that's not theirs. This is theirs. Um, this is kind of, uh, hmm, uh, this is theirs. And it does not look like it's going to be ready in a month. That's kind of concerning. Let's take a peek. Uh, I don't, this doesn't feel right to me. This is their model. All the cabinets are not in. Wow. This does not feel right. I need to find out if this is the right lot because if they're closing next month, this is like two months worth of work. I'll talk to you guys later. I am tired. I've been out for two and a half hours. No, wait a minute. Ooh, two and a half hours. I'm ready. Ooh, fire on the mountain. Grateful Dead channel. Anyway, folks, um, this is what my life entails, either showing houses with clients or checking on the status of houses. As a realtor, we never really have free time, but you know, we thought it would be fun to kind of just do something like this and maybe I'll do something like this once a month, take you um, with me as I travel around and let you know my thoughts. You know, again, the new construction thing is, <laughs> is my job right now, so that's what I focus on. But if you're thinking about buying a home here in Las Vegas, either resell or new construction, especially in the Summerlin area, you know who to call, write me, your local Summerlin expert at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. <laughs> As always, make sure you like this video and subscribe folks, come on, subscribe. I talk not only just about Summerlin, I talk a lot about different neighborhoods that the Las Vegas Valley has to offer, and of course, real estate and statistics or numbers. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. Peace out. Have a wonderful spring and summer.